officially day number three of the UK trip. But honestly, it's really kind of day number one. Because it's day number one of the Arnold Expo. So we kind of had a choice. And we do every day. Lift before or lift after. And there's benefits and drawbacks to either. Of course, if you lift afterwards, you need to wake up a little bit later, sleep in. But, yeesh. I mean, I, this is such a spoiled thing to say. But lifting after a whole day of walking around talking to everybody, and we're going to watch the bodybuilding show afterwards, it's just not so practical. So morning lift, that's the way to do it. So we just finished arms. That'll be on the hostile channel probably maybe tomorrow or the next day. They, um, they're trying to get on top of it because, of course, your own's literally going on right now. But, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. It was me, Dean, and Ben at Dino's. That was a really freaking cool gym. Honestly, in terms of every gym I've been to, I'd say that one had the most character. And, you know, I've been, I've been around. I've been a freaking round from, well, I, I mean, you wouldn't know it. I think, what's it called? There's a gym next to my grandparents' house down in Florida that I really like. Oh, I don't know the name. But whatever. whatever. So there to Gold's to everywhere else. It was pretty cool. And one thing that I really liked is they actually made really good use of the space. Because it's not a massive facility, you know. It's pretty... I mean, it's way smaller than, like, my college rec center weight room. But they actually knew what they were doing when they were organizing all the machines. And, like... It didn't feel cramped either. Plus, all the old bodybuilding pictures and everything, just the history. I feel like I'm just glazing the gym. But honestly, if you're ever in Birmingham, which I'm, I'm not sure how often you would be. I know I'm not. But definitely a place to stop. So we had a relatively relatively quick arm day. Really heavy pushdowns. I went a little, we went a little easier on biceps. I think we were all kind of feeling a little bit tendony. But triceps was really good. Tons of heavy pushdowns. So, in a couple of minutes, head down to the booth. Meet all sorts of characters. Big, small, known, unknown. Really can't freaking wait for it. Honestly, I kind of want to get down there now. Just because there's all sorts of dudes hanging around in the hallway. Or the lobby, I mean. Because, like, every time there's an expo like this, there's usually one hotel that's kind of like cream of the crop. That everybody really kind of congregates into so i mean it's super cool just running into i mean you know insert this bodybuilder or this influencer it's kind of surreal but plan after that well honestly I, I don't even know what the plan is really today well, all i gotta focus on is making sure i get enough food so that i don't lose any weight because you gotta remember no matter what kind of trip we're doing that's not going to affect the bulk or the cut it depends on what you're doing. And that goes for you, too. If you're ever on a vacation, you can't, make an, you can't take an hour and a half to separate from your family. I mean, come on, you know? It's like, how busy are, your, how busy are you? And I guess I could kind of, I see the logic of like, oh, I'm on vacation. It's time to relax. But I don't know if the gym's really something you should relax from, you know? Like, fuck, man, you're just going to feel better. So next time you're on, I guess everybody's spring break has pretty much already happened. But next time you're on a trip, you know, with your buddies or your family or whatever, do not skimp. And if you do, well, I was about to kind of rip on you, but <laughs> you're almost punishing yourself just by skipping. Because you're just hindering your own fucking gains. It's, um, oh man, it's, as much as I love focusing on every lift and trying to make every lift as good as it can possibly be. Go fucking crazy on like squats or bench and, you know, bicep curls of the 80s or whatever. And really just fucking go nuts every lift. It's not a sprint, you know, it's kind of a fucking marathon. And you gotta remember, oh, I was about to say some kind of analogy, but it doesn't really apply. Yeah, yeah, scrap whatever I was about to say. But consistency is key. And I know that's just a fucking like classic business anything mantra, but it's fucking true. This is one thing which is kind of something I've just realized over time. 
as I've gotten older, is every cliche saying or like motivational quote or feel good, like little short speech or anything like that, as cliche and like maybe silly and like, oh, obviously, as like basic as it sounds, it's so, it's always so true. And if you can kind of read into it past the surface level, like, oh yeah, of course I should make my bed in the morning. Oh, I should. I should go to bed early. Like, we, we all know this. We all know basic kind of things that we should be doing, which are probably going to make us feel good over the long term. And fuck, man. I mean, I know I fucking don't go to bed on time like a total fool. And I know I'd feel better if I was on an awesome routine. It's like you've got two voices, or you've got two sort of opposing thoughts in your mind, right? Your subconscious thoughts, which are just like, stay in bed. Hit the snooze button. You know, uh, don't, don't do your laundry. Don't do your homework. Uh, don't train hard today. Come on, just take it easy. Right? These subconscious thoughts just kind of pop up in your brain spontaneously. You can't control them. It's just, you know, feeding into like a dopamine spike. Like, oh, it's going to feel good if you stay in bed. Oh, it's going to, it's, oh, training. It's going to be uncomfortable. Don't do that. Just stay home. Come on, take a rest day. You know, that's your subconscious thoughts, which don't mean anything until you act on them. Right? I, I mean, I get that. If it's late, or if it's fucking early, and my alarm fucking starts blaring at 5.30, <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, should, I, uh, should I curl back up in bed and go back to sleep? No. Come on. Be man. Or a strong woman. I know there's a few of you watching. And just fucking jump. Jump, jump to action. But end up, this is getting real cheesy, so... Arnold Booth, there will be a hostile vlog. It'll probably be titled like Arnold Day One Hostile. I'll I'll probably like post it on my Instagram story or something. But I'm not sure what the next clip will be. I always say I'm gonna like record something, but I never really do. It's not really my style. Which is why I'm pretty fucking thankful that, that we've got the camera guy who's actually gonna take in that workload. So I get to just show up and chat but I think next will be something maybe food to be determined it's a mystery for you and me so let's find out in exactly this is hard for me to say this is hard for me to admit but yesterday or I guess the day of this video, morning lift, arms, followed by the Arnold Expo in the UK, and I meant to do my cardio before bed, afterwards, I fell right asleep, man, fuck, can you believe it, I know, I, not, uh, not my proudest moment, uh, but man, I'm kind of half joking here, you know, because uh, I will say this, it's, I don't do my cardio every day. On occasion, I will end up sleeping in or whatever. I do want to do it every day. I, I'm more often than not, I do. But there's a few situations in which if you tell me you skipped your cardio, I'll say, all right, well, do it tomorrow. And that's either one, well, I, it kind of all boils down to the same things. If you're really sick, <sighs> If you're really sick, it may be better off to just chill and rest and recover. And then the other one would be if it's going to cut into your sleep. So if you go to bed and you've got to leave the house at, I don't know, let's say 6.30, and you go to bed at like midnight, would it be better for you to get you know, a full six hours of sleep or as much sleep as you could get? Six hours isn't really a full night's sleep, but let's say you get your six hours, get up, start your day. Would it be better to cut your sleep down to five hours, do a half hour cardio, and then continue? I'd probably say not exactly. You know, you don't want to cut into your recovery. Like, there's three main things which you want to keep pretty consistent in your training. Right? For one thing, the training itself, the consistency and the intensity of it. Your diet, you know, you got to eat enough food to have the energy to deal with all this shit, the weights and everything else. And then your rest. And obviously... If any of these three 
disappear. I don't mean to flip you off just then, but all progress comes to a halt. If you completely stop sleeping, insomnia style, uh, yeah, I don't really think you're going to be growing much muscle. If you stop training completely, you're not going to be stimulating any, mus any muscle, so it's not going to have any need to grow. And then if you stop eating in a surplus, you're just physically not going to have the energy in your body or the nutrients and the you know everything else at your body's disposal to grow, right? So you need these three in sync. So as much as I do endorse cardio, which I think you know how much that is, if it's going to cut into your sleep, you're probably okay to just get a little bit extra rest. And then really, I'm not saying skip the cardio in favor of sleep. I'm just saying be a little bit more proactive with your schedule so you actually have time for it. You know, that's a... Uh, that's what the enlightened lifter would do. But yeah, so instead of 30 minutes on the cardio bike, got home from the expo or to the hotel at like 6, instantly fucking gone. <laughs> uh, so plan today, day two, we're going to... Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, we're going to Martin's gym. I'll, uh, if you know who we're talking about, absolute beast. You know, talking like NBA player height at 300 pounds. So I'm going to do quads. We're here with uh, Ben and Dean, and we're all kind of training together. But Dean had a back injury a while ago, so he's got a, he's got some screws in him now. So he he's going to want to chill out on back, at least for like really insane loading. So, well, he's going to want to chill out on anything that loads his back. So they might end up doing their own thing. So... If we end up all just lifting separately, maybe we'll record the leg day. I know no training in this one, but what are you gonna do? A little, uh, little bit of an extra circumstance because we're you know kind of busy traveling. But even though, even though I did not do my cardio yesterday, in no way am I gonna say, oh, okay, you get a free pass today. Not a freaking chance. You know, if you take, if you, if that sort of logic popped up in your mind right now. You got a loser mentality. You got to rewire your shit. And honestly, the best case scenario for somebody to hear me say that I skipped my cardio was to say, man, Sam, what a fucking loser. I did my cardio. What, you can't keep up? That's the kind of stuff I want to hear. So plan now is quick breakfast, morning quads, and then back to the booth, back to the freaking expo. I, uh, uh, I was going to say I try to get some... I mean, it's, we're kind of just walking around the whole time. There there will be legit expo vlogs on the Hostile channel, so keep an eye out for that. But time for me to get my day started. So just, just make do with kind of the scrappier videos for the next few days. We'll be back in a regular routine before you know it, throwing around the 150s and squatting a bazillion pounds for a bazillion reps also. But I'll see you next time.